Okay, so what we have here is 2014 Toyota Crown. There's a uh, Toyota Crown Royal, Toyota Crown Athlete RS, Toyota Crown Athlete, and this one, the Toyota Crown Athlete Hybrid. Inside the Toyota Crown Athlete. First, this leather door, you can see. It's really wonderful, it's really nice. All leather in here. This one is a plastic. Also, to open the boot, here is the lever or the button to open the boot. As you can see, go a little bit upwards. Forward and back. So inside the Toyota Crown, right, as you can see, if you switch on the power, there's a Toyota Crown logo welcoming you. So as we go to the center control stack, you can see here the air conditioning. Also in this same uh, monitor here or the same screen here, there are some other settings for your car in here. There you go. Also the air conditioning is here. It's a dual, um, dual control. So the air conditioning here, as you can see the, the the vent is moving left or right it's so cool so this specific model is a 2014 model there you go in the menu this car also has a heated steering wheel and as well as heated seat there you go as you can see you can turn that on and in a minute you can feel it's already warm And there are some other um, menu for your air conditioning. You can turn up the swing. There you go. And all other um, options are here. It's a touch screen or a touch uh, that touchpad. There's this crown logo here, and once you start the, once you power on the car, you will be greeted by this Toyota crown logo here, with a reminder. Now this is a, this is a hybrid, so you cannot see any tachometers in here, but you can see the charge, 
if it's uh, you're driving echo or you're driving like aggressive so there's the power there also shows here how many kilometers can you travel and also the current temperature outside also your average per liter it's 13 kilometers per liter at the moment And also other displays like that and your consumption. This has a cruise control too. This one, you can set it here. Cruise control. All in all, a total nice interior. Now let's go to the head unit so for 2014 this is not bad it's a little bit um, delayed but not too much there you go you can select your map view and you know what's funny we're in Japan right now but this is, uh, other other settings are written in English so it's good like maybe there's a setting here that you can change it. I'm not sure, but that is good. So it means like the 20, uh, 2014 and up models have an integrated English already uh, language in the, you know, in the stereo. So these are some settings. It has a Bluetooth, like this Bluetooth. You can connect here, your phone. It doesn't have any Android Auto or um, Apple Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but it has this. Also, it has some. It has a television. You can see here the normal radio or yeah, AM radio, FM, CD, the hard disk drive. Also, you can power on and off the the media by pressing this one, and you can control the volume by turning the knob left and right. So the discs for for the media is here. There you go. Now for the for the ship now, this has an automatic this has a automatic transmission. So yeah, it's like a normal Toyota ship now. But yeah, they make it much cooler. Now this is specific um, variant or this is specific. Uh, car has a aftermarket rear camera too which also function as a drive recorder so you can see and it has a dual camera mode too like in front and in the back so it depends to you how what is the uh, what settings do you want it to be so yeah cool Now let's go to the storages. So here is the main storage. But you also have a little storage in here. Whereas also there's a USB port for charging. There you go. And also this one. This storage for uh, this is storage here that can be opened on either way on the passage passenger side or driver side it's really cool right yeah also there there is some storage there where you can put a water bottle here also cup holders 
and as well as on the driver side. Back, you can get this uh, elegant leather trim too. This brown and uh, black trim, goes on the plastic one for the door. And the seats are wide. This is actually a luxury, mid-sized luxury car from Toyota here in Japan. Let's it. The legrooms are fine. I'm a five foot eight guy, so yeah. The headroom too is good. Also, there are some aircon vents here. There you go. But there's no control. Only the driver can control the air conditioning. And, and as well, there's some lights here. Like if the passenger, you know, the passenger is being chauffeured. So, and they want to read their, you know, pocketbooks or whatever, you know, they can, they can turn on the lights and point it to them. This variant also has this sunroof, as you can see here, which can be open here. Let's try to open this. There we go. There's the sunroof. It's really cool. Close it, just press it long and it will close automatically. And this is the total view of the front seat from the rear from the rear seat. It's really cool, as you can see. In the rear seat, there's also this um armrest with the cup holder here two for each side and also some storage here a little storage here with the cup holder not really big but you can fit your you know your uh, typical size of bottles in there mm -hmm. also on this side there you go now this specific model has a 2AR1KM engine. It's an inline four, naturally aspirated with, you know, electric engine too, or electric motor too. So this engine has an output of uh, 220 horsepower, more or less. Okay. You can see here. Hybrid Synergy Drive from Toyota. So yeah, all in all, this is a great car. Great uh, mid-size luxury sedan. So it has a disc brake from for front and uh, for back and the front.
gonna swirl for the food. It has a decent size, but not really big. See here, Toyota cr uh, Crown is written here. Also, there is some secret storage here. There you go. So again, this is this specific model is a 2014 Toyota Crown Outlet S Hybrid. So Toyota Crown started uh, since 1950s, uh, and until now they are still um, producing it. So this is this is specific model is from uh, 2012 up to 2018. So yeah, if you're living in Japan and uh, you want to drive or buy a second Toyota car, please watch this video and yeah, some of the features I show it. Some of the some of the car feature I showed it here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Now driving the Toyota Crown Hybrid. Actually smooth driving. Not so much of a bump. Also, but also you can hear the 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 electric engine and the powertrain are exchanging. Not too much, not 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 uh, not much uh, body roll. Also power, and it responses quickly. It's actually good to drive. The steering wheel is very light. The engine response is as long as as soon as you step up on the step on the on the accelerator it will respond quickly Actually, currently driving um, one of Toyota's uh, luxury midsize sedan too, but I think this is much better than that. We're almost at the same year. Mine is uh, a 2012 or 2011, and this one is a 2014. 
but there is much of a difference already like the center control stack it's already upgraded it's not an aftermarket you know um, stereo in here the navigation it's bigger it's the quality I think it's much nicer and yeah so for this specific car uh, the price for this specific car is actually around um, 1.8 million to 2.5 million yen it depends on the mileage already but this one is specifically has a I think this has a 84,000 on the clock already Oh, sorry, this has 65,000 on the club. It's really nice. Still young. So, 1.8 million yen is around $18,000 or more or less. Uh, these units are easy to get. You can get it on your own, on the nearest uh, local car dealers or if you have someone you know you might contact them also if you want me to review your car you can contact me as well so I can drive your car see what it has to offer and for the future buyers for our fellow um, foreigners here in Japan we can help them to see what's inside the car or what are the features of it so yeah so yeah that's all for now I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and yeah see you again soon on my next video please don't forget Japan and things Thank you.